is a program that's going to talk about the powerful women of Persia throughout history. It is organized by the Zoroastrian Youth Center. And we're very happy to have them here with us today to show another side of uh, uh, Iranian women that might not be out in the media in the West. So thank you and please welcome. My Zay Iranian. My Zay Iranian. I am the daughter of Persia, the beauty, the recreation, the light in existence, symbol of perseverance and patience, the most beautiful creation. I am good thoughts, words, and deeds. I'm the spark of light from Atuno Masto. I'm the Persian woman, sister of Fahmine, neighbor of Shirin, daughter of Quran, mother of Cyrus. I am strong yet calm, fearsome yet gentle. I, daughter of Iran, belong to the Persian Gulf, to the Caspian Sea and its waves as they rush the sand. I built a civilization with my passion, loyalty, courage, and love. I am Puchisa. I chose John Knox with my spouse, with my best judgment. He was one of the followers of the righteous path and a supporter of Asham. I deliberated upon this choice with my good mind and let my mind guide me, and I knew. John Moss was the best choice. I was married according to the ways of the good religion. As a young Persian woman, I chose my husband based on my own wisdom rather than the command of assistance of my father. I did so so that Akura Mazdal and all his faithful believers would support me and honor my decision. I know that paradise belongs to all the rich wise women and men. Ahura Mazda cares for all these good people who are destined to face the Shinabad Bridge. And blessed be the spirit of all the women and men who work hard in their good conscience to succeed in all their endeavors. Hold Homai is the first queen recorded in history, ruling over a kingdom. Homai is mentioned in Farvar bin Yash after Ota Osa, the queen of King Rishtasva, the Kianyan. The royal family members were the foremost followers of Zaratushra. Homai, King Rishtasva's daughter, was known to be the most beautiful woman in the kingdom. The Book of Kings, or the Shahnameh, states that Homai ruled the kingdom for 32 years. After ascending the throne, she boosted the military, maintained peace, introduced new legislation, and as a result, every citizen prospered. Justice and equality for all constituted her kingdom. religion. During my 32 years of reign, new laws were passed that made people wealthier and the army stronger. Every person in the kingdom received justice and no suffering. Mandana. Mandana means eternal. Mandana was the daughter of Astyagus, king of the Medes, and wife of a Persian nobleman, Kimboji I. She was also mother of the everlasting hero of Iran and the world, Cyrus the Great. Queen Mandana raised Cyrus with great wisdom and care. Her son, Cyrus, offered to humanity unique leadership, who always followed the path of justice, freedom, and righteousness for mankind. Mandana was the founder of the first military training camps, in these camps, young men and women were taught horse riding, archery, the science of war and law. The youth were taught to follow the principles of good thoughts, words, and deeds. 
Based on the remaining and available tablets, Cyrus speak of his mother's affection, goodness, and appreciation of her valuable and wise teaching. Mandana is known as the first mother of the king of Iran. Because of her unique knowledge and leadership skills, she led Iran's fleet against the Greek forces and constantly succeeded in defeating the enemy. I am Artemis, the first Navy fleet admiral in the history of the world. I love my country, Iran. As a result of my diligent efforts and a strong leadership skills, I have been able to organize an army made of many nations and races to fight the Greeks and push them out of our cities. And I was successful in doing so. You talk. You talk means uniquely shining. Utah was the sister of Aryabazan, one of the greatest commanders in the army of Darius III, the Achaemenian king. At the time when Alexander the Macedonian was heading for Iran to attack Persopolis, Utah and her brother gathered an army of 25,000 soldiers to fight Alexander's army. They blocked the passage route of Alexander's army and fought bravely against his army. Unfortunately, an Iranian traitor conspired with Alexander and an alternative route was found to attack Iran. This event eventually resulted in the death of Utah and her brother, Ali of Arzan. Utah was a brave, wise and alert soldier and always supported her brother.
Sura was never afraid to fight in wars and was very brave, always supporting her father. She was a superior commander and a courageous warrior who fought side by side next to her soldiers, most of whom were friends. with the approval of Shahpur I. The city of Gondeshapur and its university were one of the most scientific research centers in Iran for a long period. Many well-known scientists, researchers, and physicians were active in Gondeshapur. Numerous students from distant lands would travel there to study. It is worth noting that during the Zoroastrian Iran, slavery was prohibited and every citizen was compensated equally. Azado was one of the most progressive queens. Her support led to many scientific discoveries. and sister of Azar Midok, the first Iranian female king that ruled over ten countries. During her first inaugural speech, she called upon everyone to be just and law-abiding citizens. She stated that the grandeur of a king is not as important as the justice a king practices that makes him or her a good leader. scientist and a mathematician at the time of the Parthians. 
her competence and intelligence won her the position for the Ministry of Treasury during Erdogan IV. This ministry was one of the most important and sensitive bases for the party and empire. Arta Adok was able to successfully manage her position with great bravery. She managed and supervised all national financial matters, including taxes, trade, and income. She controlled the government budget and developed a strong economy and avoided unnecessary pressure on the citizens, such as raising taxes. She managed to minimize unnecessary expenses in the country, especially among the royalties, as well as collecting higher taxes from the wealthy. Azad Deilani. Azad was a freedom-loving, brave Iranian. She was one of the militia commanders of the Deilanians near the shores of the Caspian Sea. Deilan, which is currently called Gilan, has always been famously known to be the home of many patriotic Iranians. Azad Deilani is one of the first women rising from Deilan who fought the Arab invaders. She was an Iranian woman who fought hard against the oppression of the Arab invaders. She lost her life for her beloved homeland, Iran. Azad was a great example of numerous women in the Iranian history who contributed and served the homeland, such as men in the military, politics, arts, and sciences. It is said that Banu Khurramdin was a skillful archer at an early age. Her bravery, skills, and intelligence were some of her characteristics that startled many men warriors. She was Babak Khurramdin's wife and always fought alongside her husband. She was Babak's partner in life, death, war, and peace at all times. They established one of the greatest freedom campaigns in the world history called the Khurramdin's Movement. This movement was formed to end Arab aggression. The center of their activities was in a town called Bazdar, located about 200 kilometers from Ardabil in today's Azerbaijan. Today, the remains of their center called Babak's Castle still remains. Banu Khurramdin not only was a loyal wife, but was also a skillful and a unique warrior. She was the other half of Babak, and Iranians would call them the epic warriors of freedom. I am Banu Khorandi. I was a freedom fighter who was always ready for battle, alongside my husband, Babak Khorandi. 
I was a skilled archer, for I had grown up with my bow and arrow. Not only did we fight to keep the Arab invaders out of our country, but we have also fought with and led the Persian resistance militia. In addition to fighting against the enemy on the battlefield, we have also witnessed their cruel behavior towards our fellow countrymen and the foreign customs that they have imposed on Persian civilians. Therefore, it was also our duty to combat these cultural invasions, and we did so to the best of our abilities. Thank you. I live, 
breathe and fight for my Iran. Man, shohi as derakht Irana. Man, seti al burzam sarafrozam be khud bola. Man, nari khamush derakht shikabe bo feridunam. Man zinde konam tari, chon khud niyakonam. Man, dochter Irana. من راز دل حافظ با خود شما بودم من سعدی بوستان را خود گلستان را چون جان عزیز دارم من دختر ایرانم من دختر ایرانم من محشی شاعر را چون شاخه گل بودم من رود سبیل هستم پوینده و جاری من جنگل گیلانم سبزم و سپیدارم من دختر ایرانم من دختر ایرانم چون تراوت و پاکی در مظهر خود دارم من همچون یکی الماس در کبیر و صحرایم من دختر ایرانم من دختر ایرانم من خود خود لوتم گسترده و بی پایان من خسرو و شیرینم یا بی سمرامینم من رود عرص هستم پر صدا و پخناور من شهر جهانگردی ماسوره پروازم من لوریز ایلامم کردیز پرمانشا من دختر سیستانم من دختر ایرانم من دختر ایرانم من ستیره داراب در سراسر تاری بیدارم و بشدارم چون دختیز ایرانم قهرمان و پابرجا چون کوه به جا مانم من همیشه جاری من دخت دل ایرانم من دختر ایرانم من دختر ایرانم من دختر ایرانم من دختر ایرانم